Welcome back to my channel. This is DIY with Jeannie, and if this is your first time, welcome. And if this is your return visit, then welcome back. Um, we do all kinds of DIY, lots of crafting, different things like that. And we are going to start a craft that's going to take us a little while. But we are going to turn a little golden book into a junk journal. And I've seen it online, and I am... I just need to try it. So come with a, come with me on the journey and let's see how this comes out. And I'm hopeful. Okay, I have seen lately a number of people use these little golden books and you make them junk journals. And what they do is they leave all the pages. They use them all in the junk journal, but they leave them in order so that you can still read the story as you go through, which is kind of weird, but I'm intrigued. So I was out thrifting as normal for the weekend and came across a few books. I've got this one and this one and this one to kind of practice on. I I still can keep the pages. I can still keep the covers no matter what happens. But then when I get good at it, I'm going to do Pokey Little Puppy because I remember it and I think it's a great book and The Night Before Christmas. And then I got a big one, The Pups Save Christmas. So it's a Paw Patrol, and while I'm not huge on Paw Patrol, I thought it would be fun to make a great big Christmas type journal. And it's just a junk journal where there'll be pockets and things throughout it, but I just, I'm not sure what I'll use it for at this point in time. Probably more drawing, place to keep my art places to keep memorabilia and things that I like to keep. But I'm such a fan of Pokey Little Puppy, and I was so excited to find this one. Oh, wow, it even still has that little thing in it. But anyway, I was very excited to find it. So I am going to take them apart. Now, most people cut this edge off, but that's what makes it a little golden book, and I'm trying to figure out a way to save the edge, to save it, and be able to recognize it and still be able to take it apart. So I know that it's got two staples and I've already cut along the paper here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these staples out and try to disassemble the book that way. Because I really don't want to lose this, this little golden edge part, which is what makes it a little golden book. So let us see about taking that off. And all we'll do today is kind of disassemble. Uh, I just want to get some ideas how this is going to work. Um, come on. Um, there we go. How, the, how we're going to get it to work and what the pages on the inside are going to look like as I start building it. So that is where I am right this second in the process. I just thought it'd be fun. So if you have not seen some of the people who do this, then I recommend that you look on YouTube for the little golden uh, journals. And I know a lot of people sell them at craft shows and things like that. And again, until I'm good at it, there'll be no selling. I do sell some things. I have an Etsy page. Mainly things I've done in the past and some of the stuff I've sewn. And uh, I do glass work and, and things like that. And You know, at some point, we're going to have to do some videos on doing stained glass because it is interesting to watch. Okay, so I've got that. I've got it. There we go. Pull that through on this side. And just take it out. There we go. There's one. Stand up a little better. And then we'll push that one out. I don't have it cut. There we go. And there is that one. Now it's just a matter of getting it out. I'm probably going to cut myself because that's. Yay, I didn't cut myself. Go me. Yet. The power of yet. So I tell my students all the time. The power of yet. Okay. 
So we're going to open it up and take the little book part out. And it is, they're all folded. These little signatures are all folded, so we'll be cutting them apart. But let's cut that. I am going to cut this apart. And then we will, um, but that way we can keep our edge on. And that makes me very happy. I have to go back in and fix where we took the staple out. But that's fine. I'll probably use clear tape on that. For the inside, when I start putting it together, I'm going to use a cloth or cloth tape or something inside to give us more stability. So we're going to want to have a much bigger area. So I put our own signatures in there, our own pages. But these will go back in in order. So we'll cut this edge off. I'll do that right now so you can see what I'm talking about. And I always cut, and my students do not understand why I do it this way, but I cut edges off like this. I don't try to go inside and cut down because I'm never going to get it straight. And I'm not going to get this straight either, but it at least will look the same on both sides. So we'll still have our pages. They'll still go in order, but we'll probably have pages in between that have pockets and little cards for journaling and things like that. So that you could still use this book to read to someone if you have um, a grandchild or a child of your own and you want to still have the book, that's fine. Because I'm not ruining the story itself. It's still going to... Uh, there we go. It's still going to go together. So we've got, see, we've got our little pages. And they'll still be in order. They'll still be legible. We'll still be able to have them, have the book. But it is going to also have um, other pages inside. And, and we'll go over how we're going to put that together because I haven't quite worked all that out in my head yet. So this is a super short video, but just like we did these, we can use envelopes as pockets. Um, we can make the same way we did our little card insert for our journals. We can use that inside of it. Um, let's see, what else do I have out here? a lot out here but we have all of the things that we can still stick together we can still have all of these really cool things and still have a storybook but it, the cover will just be this cute little fireman firefighters counting book so but it's still going to be a good sized journal and I'm probably going to use rings to hold it together um, Right now, that's my thought, because I want to be able to easily open and close it. I don't know if it's going to be the Memory Maker rings, and I do have those, so let me grab that. Give me just a moment. Okay, that's going to have to wait till next week, because I have no idea where I put those. But I did find these, and I want to show you. These will go on the corners of the book because that's where really it takes the most damage and it already has. But then you put these little these little metal corners on and so it really gives it a nice look on the end. And what we could do is, is just lightly ink the edges so these will really pop. So that is something we're going to do to the corners. So there is that. Hmm. I still don't know where I put those, but that's okay. So, that is our next project, taking our little golden book. 
and building pages. Uh, it's going to be an ongoing project for a little while. So we'll probably do things in between. I know that I have an art box coming this week. So we'll want to take a look at that. It's called the sketch box and it's a subscription box, but we'll take a look at that. I have another box coming this month as well. So those are exciting and coming up and we will have our quilt square coming up because we are almost into March. And I will show you what I'm going to do with those quilt squares that I got at the, the Goodwill Clearance Center, better known as the bins. And we will start getting those together. So we have a big month ahead of us, and this is just one of the things that we'll be doing. So I hope you come back, watch, follow along, and I'll see you next time. So I found, after the, I was editing, I did find a little disc, and the Happy Journal, um, I think that's what they're called, I think that's right. Anyway, they make these little tea-looking holes, and then they use these for the bindings. So they've got the little rings that pop into that that shape. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm sure, I've got I've got scrap everywhere, so just find a piece. Actually, let's use the package. Where did I put it? Okay. I'm gonna use the cardboard. So what you do is you just Slide this in, and it is a lock. Ah, well, look, I am smart. And you punch the hole, and then when you move it down, you put that little shape in the hole, so they're all exactly the same length, same distance apart. So to do another one, we again put it and slide it on the little marker. And all of ours are gonna be the same. So then when we take our ring, it's called a happy planner, because that's what these are. Um, and you can find all this at my goal sets. You can actually find the, the planners already all put together. But what happens is, what happens is you just slide it in there and then the pages can turn around the disc. So that is my plan for this, is that you'll have these little marks and it'll all go together like that. My other choice would be to get those similar to um, keychain rings and use them, but this is my first choice. And you can get them in all colors, so I'll probably get some very bright ones. Because that's just the kind of girl I am.